Surveyor 3 is launched in its 65-hour flight to the moon. Surveyor's protective womb opened. Atlas burned out and fell behind. Centaur took over, hurtling the spacecraft on its way. Then, Surveyor came alive in space. Centaur, its job done, was cut adrift. Surveyor was alone, free for its long journey to the moon. The solar panel erected, and small nitrogen jets oriented Surveyor so that its sun sensor intercepted and locked onto its rays 24 minutes after launch, a thousand miles out, racing onward at 22,000 miles an hour. The sun lock-on provided one point for navigational reference. One more point was needed to hold the spacecraft in a fixed and known attitude in space. Surveyors sought this reference by rotating slowly until Canopus, a bright southern hemisphere star, entered the field of view of its star tracker. Surveyor made one more revolution, mapping all stars in the sensor's field of view. As it saw Canopus for the second time, it was locked to the star by ground command. By this time, 36,000 miles had been logged in a little more than four hours of flight. Thereafter, Surveyor coasted for several hours slowed by Earth's gravitational pull to 4,000 miles an hour, held in precise space attitude by its invisible moorings to the sun and canopus.